Hey, what's up guys? Kate here from MB Tennis and today we are going to teach you guys Felix OJ Aliassime's footwork secrets. Fellow Canadian Felix OJ Aliassime, also known as FAA, is one of the best young movers on the ATP Tour and he recently cracked the top 10 for the first time. Sensational. It's the rally of the tournament so, so today, what we want to do is break down three things Felix does well in moving to hit his forehand from the baseline. Oh, he's done it! Oh, what? The very first thing that I like is his wide base. One point is in play. FAA constantly maintains a wide base from his split step to moving side to side or up and back, hitting ground strokes and volleys. He always maintains a nice wide base, which is very important. By having a wide base, it allows Felix to create as much power as possible when he is hitting his ground strokes. It also helps him maintain balance and stability. If you think about it, if someone tries to push you and your legs are close together compared to being further apart, it is easier for them to push you over if your legs are closer together. A good rule of thumb is to place your racket on the ground between your feet and that should be your base. So next we have the different footwork patterns he uses when moving to the ball. As a beginner when you start out you may always stick with the same footwork pattern. For example a close stance uh, but as you move higher up in tennis it is important to have different footwork patterns for different kinds of balls. When in a rallying position, you can use three types of footwork patterns. Number one, a neutral stance or closed stance, which typically happens in the middle of the court and the ball is coming at an average speed and the height would be below your waist. The front foot stays on the ground during and after the hit as you stay down on the shot. The second type of movement would be to a ball that moves you out wide, but within the single sidelines. This is where Felix would use a lateral hop or two foot pivot. This type of ball is hit uh, off the outside foot from a forward open stance. It usually is a forehand move and is typically with heavy topspin by lifting his inside knee up for good balance to create good body alignment. A two foot pivot is a hit off an open stance as well. The hips stay low and rotate around the central axis. The hips pivot on the balls of both feet. Another step Felix would use often is what is called a power move. I really like this one. And it is when he is pushed, off, pushed our wide past the singles line and maybe even to the doubles alley. The final piece of Felix's great movement is his recovery which is a crossover step. You will notice that he makes sure he moves through all of his shots before he tries to recover. He doesn't rush the recovery, but when he does flow through the shot, you will see an explosive crossover step or shuffle with a wide base, depending on where he is on the court. Uh, having a fast and powerful recovery gets him to the right position for the next shot and is also gives him the correct spacing for moving into the next ball. Okay guys, so how can we start moving like Felix? Well, today we are going to share with you two drills that we did the other day on the court to help with your forehand footwork. The first drill is a simple hand feeding drill with a recovery after each ball. You will do two sets of three each time through a total of six balls. This drill has three basic forehands, but when I do it, and I think a lot of people should do this, I really slow it down and make sure the footwork and everything are really exact how it should be. So the first one is going to start in the middle of the court. From here, you will move to the ball and hit a neutral close stance. The second one is going to be a similar forehand, but a little further out. You will step out and either hit a lateral hop or two foot pivot. After planting, you will do a crossover behind. The third one is going to be the furthest one out wide. It's going to be a running forehand where you use the power move footwork like we talked about earlier. 
It is going to be a left foot, right foot kind of anchor yourself after you hit the ball and cross over back to the middle. As a young junior player developing proper footwork, it is crucial and you will see Callie working on this as well as she tries to make her improvement, or sorry, her movement more efficient. The second drill is what we call one up and one back. This is a simple but effective drill to do every training session. It works on efficient movement and precision while improving your consistency and condition drill. I really like this one guys. It's a very easy drill to do too with a coach or another player on the other side. Um, with the ball going to the net player and the ball coming fast back at you, forces you to get ready. So it's gonna force you to have your racket up. It's gonna force you to have your wide base. And we're working on those forehand footworks at the same time. So if you're able to do those three things, the racket up, the base, and the footwork, it is going to do wonders in building up that forehand footwork for you. And eventually, when you get good enough, you're gonna be able to trans translate that into a match. So. I, I mean, this drill is so easy to do and is very valuable, so definitely try this one out. You can also do it on the backhand side if you want, but we're not really talking about backhand today uh, because this video is dedicated to forehand footwork and how to hit forehands and use the footwork like Felix does. So definitely try this one out. It is very good and very easy to do. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Go ahead and hit that like button for us and comment down below what you guys thought of the video. I know this was a lot of information to take in, but it is very valuable. Footwork is extremely underrated, so definitely uh, let us know what you thought and hit that subscribe button down below. It will help us a lot and um, we'll see you guys on the court. Again, I'm Cade from MB Tennis. Thanks for watching. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon.